four easy text effects for beginners. Now, before we actually get into the video, just want to thank everyone who subscribed to the channel since my last video. We was almost at 100. Now we're almost to 200. You love me. You really love me. <laughs> I appreciate it. And again, thank you. First effect, the spray on effect. This effect, you're gonna start off in infusion and select the media one and click the text plus node. Go into the inspector tab and type in whatever message or text you wanna type in. For now, select your color and select your font. Now for this effect, I use the punk kid effect out of font and I'll leave a link to it in the description. It's a free download, you just download and install. Hit the control and space bar, and then you want to select the mass paint uh, node. With that node selected, go into the controls and hold to mass and hit invert. Go back to controls, your brush controls, and you want to change it to, to cylinder or circular. I'm sorry. You want to increase the size of the brush to where the brush itself uh, would pretty much wipe out an entire part of a letter within a single stroke. And go back up to the brush is going to select stroke. This will allow the brush to paint away your text with a single stroke. You go into the stroke animations. You want to select all frames and go down to right on. Now you want to paint out the, your text with never, without releasing the mouse control. So once you click the mouse and hold, you just want to hold it down the entire process and just paint it out. It's all like one single stroke at that one at that point. Then if you did it right, you'll see all these keyframes at the bottom. Now you play it back, you'll see that their text is being painted away. You also notice too that the playhead is about to hit the end of the clip before the effect actually finishes. Now to adjust that, go into the keyframes, select paint mask, stroke one. And those are your keyframes. You want to hit F4 to make the screen, make it full screen. Well, make the keyframe part full screen. And when you click on the the bar next to it, you'll notice it come, come grayed out. You can move the keyframes around. You want to hit the now after you select the keyframes, you want to hit the time stretch tool in the bottom, and you'll notice that it turns to two arrows on the end. And you basically want to take it and shrink, well, shrink <laughs> the uh, effects all the way down. Or well, the keyframes already. I'm sorry. You cut it off, darken the bar out again. That way you can move the keyframes around to where you want it placed on the timeline. Cut off your keyframes, go back, set your playhead, and your nose is painting it away. Now you want it to spray on, so you go back, hit invert, shows your text again, and now it sprays on. The rest of it is just sound effects that I got from Envato Elements. I'll leave a link for it in the description down below. It is an affiliate link. Make sure to check out all the affiliate links. I do get a little bit of a kickback and helps out the channel. Effect two is the typing effect. It's only work with the text plus node, and you can, all do, you can do all this from the edit page. Now a lot of people forget there is a sound library built into DaVinci Resolve. I don't, I'm, I'm pretty sure it works for the free version too, but you wanna go in there and type in typing. And you find a typing and sound effect. I picked the, the, the rough, angry commenter sound effect. You want to place, you basically want to go through and select your text and, or your font rather. Type whatever message out that you want to type. Do it. Make sure your playhead is at the beginning of the first frame of the clip and basically want to go to the right on effect in the corner and drop it all the way down to zero. Go to your end clip, bring it back up. Voila, typing effect. Now you notice that the, the clip itself and the sound effects don't match up with one another. 
I intentionally did that on purpose so I can show you pretty much how to adjust the, the effect without having to completely start over. And you notice once you shorten it, the effect cuts off. It stops its sub. And basically what you want to do in that last frame, just bring it back up and it will automatically adjust itself. It's, just, it's vice versa if you want to stretch it out and stretch it out and the effect will end too soon. So basically you want to go to like a midway point, drop it down, you know, to, to a point you're happy with, go back to the end, pull it back up, the effect does it all over again. It's all automatically keyframed. On to the next effect. The next effect is the text reveal. This, uh, this once again, you'll need the text plus node. You drop it, pick your color and your font, or however you want to set your text effect up. For this one, I'm going with Gotham Black. Just type in fall season, just just because it's fall. Then you want to align the text effect where you want it, basically at the point where you want it to be revealed. You know, click on the transform overlay. That way you can freely move the text effect around. You also want to kind of line your effect up where it comes over the horizon. Basically, these two points where the uh, the back wall or the rocks and mountains meet in the water. You can go into settings. You gonna scroll down the cropping. For this effect, you want to crop from the bottom. So basically, what you'll do is effectively you're creating a mass on the edit page without having to go into fusion. At least not for now. You want to go back into text and then go to the overlay and you're going to move the text on this Y axis. And you can slowly be, see it slowly being revealed from behind pretty much the mass you created. You want to keyframe it. Oh, sorry, yeah, you want to keyframe the Y axis. But then you're going to go into the fusion page if you want to smooth out the effect. When you go into fusion, you'll see it says the node says template. You can go into your spline, you'll hit control F. And they'll make the spine, they'll help, they'll make the spine editor fit in the screen and then hit control A to select all keyframes. From there you hit S to smooth. Grab the handle of your keyframe and just pull it straight back. And it smooths out your effect. It also speeds it up too, so you can kind of play around with the keyframing part as you see fit. This last effect is really not an effect, it's just more or less like a helpful tip. Within the video transition tab, pretty much every transition within the that tab, you can actually grab and drag and drop on your text. And it actually effectively gives you, well, within like a quick two seconds or so, motion graphics. Or at least motion text graphics, I guess you call it. And the cross is all. And the star effect is basically kind of puts like a mass over your text. It's the push preset that I made and just basically pushes the text on it real quick. Delete that. All right, let's go it's a spiral. This don't work. Really this don't show up all that well because you know the way I have it set up with the yellow background and stuff, but the text still spirals in. These are actually effects I talked about in the free pack from Motion VFX. You gotta give it a second to render and it spins in. I'm gonna delete that. Just you know, slide, push in. Let's try this one. Just kind of get like a little color overlay, kind of like a, almost like a solar flare or lens flare, I guess you can say. 
so yeah this is pretty much like i said just a helpful tent uh tip i'm sorry <laughs> and uh that you can pretty much use any of these video transition effects on the text and it will create a quick over a quick text effect and like i said you can in the inspector tab you can change the text change the effects or well, more or less change the transition and change how it affects your text you can stretch it out you can shorten it so now it's just stretched it out to 60 frames. That's actually pretty nice. Yeah, I might use that. And that's been the video. Hope you enjoyed. I had a more advanced uh, video plan, but due to technical difficulties, I settled on this for now. I'm going to actually get back to working on that video and try to finish it up. Be sure to check any of your links in the description down below. If you like today's video, remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Appreciate it.